Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video we will cover such thing as ternary operator. And it may sound like knowledge for beginners, but actually I packed quite a lot of advanced stuff in this video, so make sure that you watch it until the end. Let's jump right into it. So the first question is what is ternary operator at all? It is a simplified version of if-else statement. Let's check on the example. So here I have plain index HTML with nothing but just script, and here is main JS script. So let's create here some function. For example, we have some function, and we have one argument is active. And now inside we want to simply write if-else condition. So if our property is active, then we want to return it is active and else we want to return it is inactive. Now let's call this function. So here will be console log some function and we are passing inside for example true. Let's check in browser we are getting it is active. So everything is working and now let's rewrite this if else statement with ternary operator. So I will just comment it out and return here and the first one is our predicate. In our case this is is active property. So this is what we want to check. And if it is true, here we are putting question mark, then we want to return it is active. And if it is false, then here is colon and here is our falsy. So it will be it is inactive. Let's check in browser. As you can see we are getting exactly the same result. But this is how we are writing ternary operator. So we have here a predicate, then question mark, then true, then colon, and then false. And this is exactly the same how we are using if else, but it has a lot of differences that we need to check. So first of all you need to remember that we are in JavaScript world. Which means that all stuff is not that strict as in other languages. For example here we can create a variable a and just assign inside empty string. And now instead of our boolean is active we can provide here a. And actually it will work, let's check. As you can see we are getting in console it is inactive. Because here we have empty string and actually javascript works with such construction. This is why we are coming not in true but in falsy. And we can check with this thing a lot of stuff like nulls, undefines, empty strings and so on. But normally it is actually a hack because yes we can check for present of some property but it is much better and more safe to wrap what we are checking here inside boolean if it's not boolean by default. Obviously if we are writing here is active we don't need to convert it but all other stuff I always recommend you to convert to boolean. The next point is super important, because when we are writing if else, we are actually writing imperative programming, and with ternary operator we are using declarative approach. What does it mean? Imperative means that we are structuring our code in a way how our program will simply execute it, so we are writing exactly what our program needs to do. With declarative approach we are defining things and how they will work together. So actually as you can see here in if else we can simply assign for example something inside a. So if a is with let so we can reassign it we can simply write here a equals is active and here we are assigning a in else. And this is working fine but this is exactly imperative approach so we are saying what needs to be done and actually it has side effects because we are defining things before we are getting in if else. With ternary operator it is completely different. We are using ternary operator and we directly get a value back. So first of all we don't have any side effects and secondly we don't say program what we need to write and what program needs to execute, but we simply get a result for some condition. In this case we can write here for example not let a but const and this is actually safer and we can check here for example for is active property and we are simply assigning some logic inside. And now we can return a if we need to. So let's check if it's working. We are still getting it is active. 
So actually ternary operator returns us back a value. This is why it is completely declarative and it doesn't have any side effects, because here we have just simple logic. Now let's talk about things that you never should do with ternary operators. And the most popular thing that I saw a lot of times is packing one ternary operator in another. So let's remove this code and write here, for example, one more parameter. So we have is active and we have is activated. And now inside we want to return and we are checking for is active. And here we want to pack as true another ternary operator and just see how uh, not readable our code will be. So here, if is activated is there, we want to return activated. In other case, we are returning active. And then here we are returning inactive. And as you can see, this is just single line. But actually for me to read this line, you need like one or two minutes. So let's check what it is doing. So first of all, we are checking is active. And if it is true, then we are checking this predicate with this second ternary operator. And if not, we are simply returning inactive. And then we are checking this ternary operator. Okay, is active true, then we are returning activated. And this code is completely unreadable and you should never write ternary operator inside another ternary operator. So we have two possible cases how we can refactor this code. The first one is to fail fast. And this is a really nice approach in JavaScript and I highly recommend to use it everywhere if you can because it simplifies your code. So we can say here that if is activated is true, then we want to return here string activated. And if not, then here we want to return our condition. So here will be is active, then we are returning active like before, and here we have inactive. So here we have simple if, and then we just fail in fast, so we are going out. And after this we have only single ternary operator. And obviously this code is much easier to read, because we should not read first one ternary operator and then second. This is the better approach, but there is also another approach if you still want to write one in another. So I will comment it out and then comment what we had previously. And now we can simply move the second ternary operator to some property. We can say here that we have a property, let's say additional status, additional status. And let's create it before. So here we will have our status and we just simply assign inside our ternary operator. Okay, here is our return. We are checking is active. If it is true, then we are returning additional status. What we have here, we have is activated and this is single ternary operator. One more thing that you should never do with ternary operator is doing function calls. So let's check how it will look like. First of all, we can create before some function. For example, we have function foo, and here we simply console log foo, and then I will copy paste this foo function and create bar function. And now inside our sum function, we can write do we have is active property, then we are calling foo, and here we are calling bar. And let's check if it's working. So we are reloading the page and here we are getting console log full and obviously undefined because we didn't return anything. And even if we write here return because this is ternary operator, we will get undefined because we don't get anything from the foo. And actually this is super bad code. This is completely fine to write here a function, but this function must be completely pure. So we should not do some console log, API request or whatever in this function. It should just strictly return some value. And this value then, if it is true, will go to the return. And in our case, this is function with side effect because we are writing console log inside and actually it's not returning anything. What is even worse, if we are removing return here, we are not using ternary operator to get some result. We simply use it in order to call a function. And yes, this code will work, but nobody will understand it. And in this case, it is much better to stick with if else approach. So actually we need to rewrite this code like this, just simple and plain if else, and it will be much better. 
because here we have exactly not declarative but imperative style and we are just calling functions inside because we need to. So these were the most important points regarding using ternary operators. And if I forgot to mention something, please write it down in the comment section below. Also, I have a lot of advanced full courses regarding different web technologies. So please go check it out, I will link them down in the description box below. And if you like this video and you want more content like this, don't forget to put thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in my next video.